Is God here and answer my prayers? Will there be McDonald's in heaven? heaven? Will I be able What about to people who've never heard about, about Jesus? Is there only one I way to God? Will it go I, I think I need to pester a pastor. Hey everybody, welcome back to Pester a Pastor. I am here once again with my friend Keith, who is also a pastor at the Crossing Church. Um, thank you for being here again. No, well, thanks for having me back. Last time was a lot of fun, so I had to come back. You never know what tough, tough question you're gonna get. The questions are really hard. I do have a tough question for you that is not a, uh, a tough one submitted by kids. Perfect, because I have one for you too. Oh. Who goes first? I'm gonna go first. Great. <laughs> Ephesians 2, 10, go. Oh, for we are God's workmanship created in Christ Jesus to do good works which he prepared for us beforehand. Good job, let's try one more. Jude 12. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Romans 6.28. There is no Romans 6.28. Romans 3.28. You <laughs> meant Romans 6.23. Sure. For the wages it. of sin are death, but the free <laughs> gift of God is eternal life in Christ go. Jesus. So you got the greatest hits down. <laughs> I, 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 I know a few. Okay. Well, good for you. Okay. So now my question. Okay. All right. So here's my question. It, if you had to be married to a cartoon character, who would it be? Okay. I think Flynn Rider from um, Tangled. I've never heard of that. They have. Is uh, He's great. And is he he's, funny? He's funny. Okay. He's funny and he's handsome and he's a hero. Perfect match for you. So now that we got that really tough, difficult question mm, out of the way, are yes. you ready for a real difficult question? We'll see. Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> Ooh. Where did God come from? Hmm. That's a tough one, and people have been asking that for a long time, and I understand why. We all come from somewhere. So we all have parents, and we have grandparents and great-grandparents, and even if we don't know them, we go all the way back knowing that there are people who came before us, because the only way to explain our existence is to know that there was something that predated us. Yeah. We didn't give birth to ourselves, right? We can't be our own mom and dad. That just doesn't make sense. But God is different than us. God has always existed. He is eternal. So God didn't come from anywhere. There's never been a moment that God didn't exist. And that's good news to us because think about it for a second. If there were someone who gave birth to God, then God wouldn't be God. If someone made God, then that ultimate being would be God, right? So God is eternal. He's always existed. There's never been a moment when he didn't. And therefore, he uh, has always been and always will be. And the Bible says even more, it says that he hasn't changed. He's the same now as he was in the past, and he'll be the same in the future that he is now. So we can count on his love, his grace, his mercy, his justice. We can bank our life on him because he's not going to change. That's good. That's really helpful. I think questions like that are... Um, they're really hard to wrap your mind around. I can't quite... I can't quite get there, you know? Well, it stretches our brains because God is different than us and he's bigger than us. He's infinite. Yeah. And we are small. We're finite. Yeah. And therefore, <laughs> we can't expect to know everything about God because if we knew everything about God, then that would make us God. We would be yeah. bigger than him. We could fit God into our mind. Yeah. But we can't. So uh, to be a Christian means that we have to have room for mystery, room to say, well, here's what I know about God, but I don't know all things about him. He's bigger than me. Yeah. I'll never will. And I'll spend all eternity getting to know him better and better. Um, that was a really, really helpful answer. I'm curious to know if you could sum it up in one sentence. Who created God? No one created God. He's always existed. He is eternal. Nail it. Friend. <laughs> hey, thanks for being here with us today. And uh, we hope you'll tune in next time while I pester another pastor. 